Hi everyone, Dolly here with Crafty Mermaid Mom. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I have another project share for you and this project share is of another junk journal or I'm not even sure if that's what I would call this. I know there's a proper term for the types of book that you alter so I guess I'll call it an altered book or an altered um, journal. I don't know you guys. All I know is I have fun doing them. I know I've watched a few videos where they call them certain names and I know um, there's one video put out by one YouTuber that, says, that tells all the different names of the types of book that you can create and I don't know. I just make them and I just have fun making them so uh, if I refer to them in the wrong term please forgive me. So anyway it is an altered book. Basically what I did is I took a book gutted it out and just used the cover and inserted my own pages. That's the best way that I could uh, explain it. So as you know, um, I have mentioned this before, I love the work by Mary Cecily Barker. She does the flower fairies. Well, recently I found a used soft back um, or paperback by her in a thrift store. And um, I love the illustrations in it so much that I thought that I would make a junk journal or an altered book of some sort using those pictures. So I want to share that with you today. And um, I do have a series of her books that I've had for years, but I would not destroy those. So because this one was a paperback book and it had so many beautiful colors, it was already old, I didn't feel bad about tearing it apart and reusing them. So here is my book right here is um, what I've created is kind of just a fairy journal book and I am so in love with this you guys because of the colors and mostly because of the illustrations. Now this book, I didn't really put a lot of blank pages or line pages for journaling. I did include a few journaling spots and a few uh, pages to journal in, but what I wanted to do with this one is to make it more of the about the illustrations because like I said, I love the work. So what I've done with this book is I have tried to incorporate a lot of the pages from that uh, old book that I found in the thrift store along with a Disney book that I had of um, Tinkerbell. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's my cover. Of course I had to take this very precious picture and I just fussy cut this out so that I could get the picture of the little girl and the baby and I just love this picture so much and um, added a few uh, flowers to the front with uh, lace trim on the side and I had to use this book, um, not just because of the title, but because of the color. I love this bright green, and I found this book at Dollar Tree a while back. It's called Radiance of Tomorrow, and I just thought it was the perfect color to go with this picture. So the back is just plain. I just used some um, cardstock paper in the color that uh, matches this picture and the flowers, and I also added a little charm with a bunch of uh, locks and keys and a cute little floating butterfly. So I really like that. And also my closure, all I did was uh, use a hair, hair um, tie and um, I punched a hole on both sides and used this metal piece right here. Um, I forget what brand this is, you guys, but anyway, it works uh, with a hair tie, which is great and closes really nicely because as you can see, this book got fairly chunky, <laughs> really chunky. And you know, I always forget when I'm putting together these junk journals, I always forget to leave myself some room to do the inserts. And you know, I get carried away because I always find so many pieces uh, that I want to include as a page and then I totally forget about the inserts. So um, let me go ahead and show you uh, what's inside. So the first page, as you can see, I've used um, a page from the book and I've also created a cute little tiny uh, library card slot here and this is smaller than usual but um, I thought this was really cute, so I made a little tiny 
library card, uh, what do you call this? The, the index, the library card index card. Um, and then I've also taken some lace and trim and I've used that on many of the pages. This piece right here I've sewn in. A lot of times uh, in my other books, what I've done is when I've been in a hurry to create one, I haven't used my sewing machine. Instead, uh, I've just glued it. Well, with this one, I had time, so I went ahead and sewed a lot of the pieces in. There's some of the pieces though, like with the eyelash trim that I just glued on because you can't really sew eyelash trim on. Well, maybe you can, I just haven't tried. So first page is just left with the decorative paper that I used. And um, a lot of this paper just comes from random paper pads that I had that I, you know, chose, which I felt matched the theme of the uh, Flower Fairies book. And this was one of them. I love this paper and there's nothing on that. Same with this. This came, I actually purchased this piece from Joann's years ago. It was one of those single piece papers uh, or paper. And I like the way that my sewing looks on the other side. It looks kind of tattered or messy. I thought that turned out really nice. And then I've also inserted some vellum envelopes and cut open each of the ends to form the pockets. And this is what I mean by, um, with this book, I did not include a lot of blank pages to journal on. Instead, I just created inserts for journaling, like this piece right here. I just put together using a piece of vellum paper and then some lined paper to create a few pages of um, lined note areas that I could journal in or uh, just, you know, write my little notes in. I thought that was good because if, you know, if I messed up or if I decided I didn't want to have that in there, I could always change this and I wouldn't be stuck with whatever it is that um, I've already written on the page because a lot of these pages already have the designs and I didn't want to touch that. So again, here is one of the pages from the book that I had found and I love the pictures in that book. Again, this is the back of that. And then I did include some of the music notes or the music uh, pages from a piano book. I believe it was a piano lessons book. And I always liked that. This one uh, really didn't need to be distressed. Or maybe I did distress this. Yeah, I did. Sometimes I, when I do the coffee dyes, I don't leave it in there so long that you know you can't really tell. So this one I could tell because of the edges. So I know I did distress this a little. And then I've created a tuck spot here uh, using my mini eight punch. And when I do that, I just cut it in four sections and I take one of the pieces and I just adhere just the corner edges to form the little tiny uh, tuck spots. And then I've also included a few pieces of the uh, note journaling cards or the Project Live cards. And I thought these matched really well. And then here is the eyelash trim that I was talking about. I really love this trim, it's so pretty. I did purchase this trim at Hobby Lobby just recently. I have been having the hardest time finding eyelash trim. Um, so I finally found some at Hobby Lobby and I had been looking there and I think they just got them. So I bought this color because I was making this book, but at least now I know where to get it. And then um, here are some more uh, Project Life cards and some room for journaling. This looks like a little postcard, a vintage one. And I kind of like that this has a little bit of a vintage feel in a way. Um, I love this page and uh, more lace. And then I also included some vellum pages. This piece of vellum I had for years. It was one of those single page purchases at Joann's. And I just held on to it and I'm glad I was finally able to use it. So here is a page that did not come from that book. This came from a Disney book and it was a Tinkerbell book. It was one of the series of uh, Tinkerbell's friends. So I thought this was really pretty. I love the colors of this. So I added this on. 
And then over here, I created a little tuck spot just using a punched out butterfly. And I love that uh, any punch that you have that's large enough um, could make a good little uh, holder for a tuck spot. Um, so as you can see, you could tuck in little you know, cards or whatnot. And then another piece of um, music note paper. And then another uh, page that's more of a tropical, but I liked it because it looks foresty. So to me, it looks like it uh, goes with the book. And then some lace, which was sewn in. And then this spot right here is light enough. The paper is light enough that I feel like you could journal on it. So I like that. And then this is really cute because it says this handbook belongs to Almond Blossom. And then it's crossed out and you could put your name and I thought that was so cute and that's Almond Blossom. And so then this is one of the pages. This is the normal size of a page and it actually is larger than this book. So I just folded it over and I created a little pocket where I could put some uh, journaling note paper. And again, I created this just using some dyed uh, paper to make it look like it's a little uh, old and you could tell I really did uh, coffee stain this one and I like the way the stain looks on these sheets. I think this came out really nice. And then uh, this right here is actually where my signature was sewn in and I just added the little tiny um, cardstock pieces from the book. And then this page right here is a folded page of the entire page of one of the um, uh, book pages from that uh, fairy book. And it says, My Springtime Friends. And again, I wanted the whole thing, so I just folded it in. And then over here is just an envelope that I created um, using another dyed uh, music note page. And actually, these music note envelopes, I got this idea from Tammy at uh, Tammy at My World in OKC. She would make these and stick them in her journal, and I thought that was the greatest idea. I love that. And more of the eyelash trim. I love this color, you guys. And then here is another one of the journaling pads that I created. I did not coffee dye this. Instead, I just used a one-sided or one-side printed uh, paper pad which has all flowers love that and so I can journal on you know the blank sides and then music sheet again and then in here I've sewn on some vintage lace and made a pocket so I could stick something in there I just didn't have anything to go in here yet and then here I've created one of these multi pocketed uh, envelopes so um, here is another pad of uh, just journaling spots. I could uh, use this to jot down notes. And then a cute little book marker right in here. And then here are some tags on the side. I thought those were cute. And so again, I love these pockets because they're, um, they can hold so much. All right, and then here is another piece of vellum and then another part of the book. And like I said, there you're going to see a lot of the pages of the book in here because that was my purpose is I wanted to save the book and I wanted to make sure that uh, I saved a lot of the book pages. So more spot for journaling here, music notes, another part of the book with a pocket, um, another part of the book, and then another pad for journaling that I created. And this is also coffee dyed. I thought this was really cute. I used uh, a thick vellum for the cover. And then um, this vellum envelope. These are really nifty. Then just uh, a decorative paper. And then here I created another tuck spot using a punch, butterfly punch, and some floral paper. And then over here is a little pocket with some journaling cards, some more lace. Um, I could journal right here. I just, you know, could either use this as a tuck spot or journaling. Another piece of vellum paper, I love this. 
um, little notebook made out of the dyed paper and a little tuck spot and again more of the eyelash trim and then here I have some um, tags I love these I meant to double side these but I didn't have time so maybe I'll do that when I get a chance and then here is just a um, card and I can use this for journaling and I just uh, thought it would be cute to just add this little tiny pineapple to just clip it um, with a paper clip and then more lace or trim and then on this side again I've added some more uh, lined paper and this is also coffee stained or coffee dyed and this one is actually attached to this page so if I wanted to I could untie this and take it out but I wanted to attach it to the page and then more of the um, the page from the book and it says sunshine and showers don't you just love all of these pictures I just love the flower fairies they're so beautiful journaling spot and I made a little pocket out of this journaling card um, and stuck that in there. Uh, here's more um, journaling uh, paper or more lined paper to journal on. I guess that's how I should say it. And then uh, vellum, more of the paper. I love this page, really pretty. And then here's some journaling area. And here's kind of dark, you can't really write on this, but if I wanted to, I could add another little tuck spot here, or you know, I could just paper clip something onto here. Uh, more of the book, really cute, more of the book. And then again, this is the middle of one of the signatures. Another little pocket using the uh, vintage lace that I have, another part of the book, another piece of vellum, and then another pocket using the vintage lace, and then there's paper clip, or this is actually a hair clip. These make good substitutes for paper clips because they're so pretty. And then here is another sheet of um, journaling pad that I created and used my uh, coffee dyed paper to create. And this is always handy. Another piece of the um, page that I took from the book. And then here you could journal on. The paper is light enough. And then some of the lace from the Dollar Tree. And then another little pocket that uh, you can use for tucking like note cards or uh, little tags and mo more note cards. So I love using these um, these folded envelopes or folded sheets that you could just tuck all kinds of things in. Okay, and then here it just says spring, and it's got more of the eyelash trim, and. Can you tell this is just glued on? I'm sure there's a way to sew it on. I just was too lazy because I put these pieces on last. Originally, I had sewn in all the lace and then I bought the trim and decided to add that at the last minute. And then more of the vellum paper. And this one says, wake up, it's spring. I love all the cute little sayings. If I could have put every single page of the book in here, I really would have because I just love that book. And then here is a little tiny bag with a postcard, a vintage postcard. And then I added this piece of uh, paper that I actually coffee dyed and it just says caterpillar kisses. I just thought that was so cute. And that goes in here. And then more of the trim or lace. Nothing over here, oops. Okay, there's some eyelash trim there. Um, and then a vellum envelope, and it's just a piece of 
paper that I uh, did some, dyed the edges or I distressed the edges and uh, I could write my little notes on there and then also I've included this little tiny pad that I made that's made out of the uh, coffee dyed um, or that's coffee dyed and then another floral sheet music sheet another piece of the book and then I decided to take a portion of the book and create an envelope and I stuck that onto here and here is a piece of note paper that I could journal on and just close that. That was fun. And then a tag and it says wear your tiara when you have a shared when you have shared a special talent with a friend. That's cute. It's from the book, of course. And more lace and just more flowers and more parts of the book pages these are just so pretty and then this right here i found this in a thrift store i found a bunch of old envelopes and to me this just looks so old like well maybe 70s old not too old but i thought it was so cute so i just added a piece of tea dyed paper in here so that i can journal on that and I could just tuck that in here and it fits perfectly. Another journaling card and just a plain sheet of colored or decorative paper and then the flowers and then another sheet from the book. And then over here is another tuck spot. Love this paper. And then just plain with the flowers, vellum, another piece from the book. And then here is the center of this third signature. More vellum paper, and this is about Halloween. And then more flowers, and then another tuck spot, and more journaling space in this little book marker. And then more of the book. And then this is just an envelope from a card or, no, I'm sorry, I made this envelope using my envelope punch. And I thought it was really cute because um, I also took my mini eight punch and used one of the, one fourth of the circle and just added that to the envelope to create the little tiny pockets. And then this one, let me see what this has on here. I don't even know if I can remove this. Oh, I can't. This is just a piece of the book that I inserted in there, but I did add this card. It's just a blank note card. You could write in there. And then, oh, and then this is a pocket. I forgot about this. I did do one pocket and look at how beautiful this is. Do you guys recognize this fairy? This was gifted to me by Crafty Butterfly Ferris and I love it so much. She had gifted me with this card and an envelope and so I decided I was going to save this fairy because it was just too beautiful and it came in handy for this book. It was perfect. So uh, I made a little pocket for it and since I think it's just so beautiful, I will forever treasure it and keep it in this book. And then here's the envelope that it came in. I kept that as well and used that as the pocket. And then here's another piece of the book with a pocket. And then another laced page with flowers. And then here is just a little tiny pocket with a tag. Another piece of the um, book. Music notes. And more journaling area to write on. I'm more journaling spots and that fits in this little tuck area and then that is it this is the end of the book you guys so you will probably think that this, this is more like a picture book than a junk journal but that was my intention um, I really wanted to save the pictures and all the photos that I could from this beautiful uh, fairy Flower Fairies book that I found at the thrift shop. Uh, so I think I was able to do that and I really love how this turned out. So um, 
this is one of my uh, books that I know I'll be keeping and looking at a lot. So I hope you guys like this project share. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.